Hello everybody and welcome to S3 Bubble. Now in this video series we're going to be talking about SVOD and AVOD. So SVOD is subscription video on demand and AVOD is advertising video on demand. Okay so there's two separate services that we're going to support and in this video we're going to be talking about AVOD. So just to show you what we're going to do is we've got a basic advert here that is just our S3 Bubble logo and what we've got as well is a video um, just a trailer of Call to the Wild and we're going to be encoding that to HLS and we're going to be creating a VMAP advertising file attaching to an ad, ad network and um, outputting the file to different sections so a pre-roll um, a couple of mid-rolls and a post-roll okay so first off let's get started now I'm just going to start from scratch if you've gone through all of this then feel free to skip the video but I wanted to start from scratch um, for anyone that's doing this new so I've got a blank AWS account and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go to IAM so it's identity and access management and we're going to make the connection between S3 bubble and AWS okay so it's really easy to do we can just go to IAM connection let's look under IAM policies and copy this policy okay now let's go and add this policy to Amazon Web Services it's just JSON which you can just paste in we can review We'll just call this policy AVOD um, Media. Okay, give it a description. Create policy. Okay, our policy is created. Now we just need to attach that to a user. So let's go to users. Again, we'll use AVOD programmatic access. And we're going to attach our policy that we just created. And you can add tags if you want. We don't need to. Okay, so now we've got our keys to attach to S3 Bubble. So let's copy our keys and I'm going to paste these into S3 Bubble under the Connections tab. So I'm just going to do that. Okay, so I've pasted my keys into S3 Bubble. Now let's make the connection. Great, connected. And it's just going to go off and check what we're connected to. So as you can see, we're connected to S3, we're connected to CloudFront. So let's go ahead and look at our buckets. Now if you've started and you've set up some from scratch, sorry, then you shouldn't have anything in here. But if you've already got buckets, it will list your S3 buckets here. Now what we want to do is create a full AWS setup and we'll just call this AVOD we're going to put it in North Virginia and here's where we can say after seven days of files being in our storage bucket we want to then push them to Glacier okay so you only really need to do this if you're working with huge amounts of data and um, very large long video files and it will save you a lot of money if you do it this way okay but I'll just leave that set and now we just need to wait a while while this goes off and sets up our storage bucket and it's also going to set up a delivery bucket so the process that we'll be working through is we'll actually be uploading our content to the storage bucket then we'll be running our encoding on that bucket and outputting it to our delivery bucket okay so it's a kind of standard workflow okay so we've got our storage bucket here and we've got our delivery bucket all set up for HLS so first things first let's go into our bucket and what we want to do is we want to upload our trailer that we're going to be encoding to HLS so we're not going to be doing it through the quick uploader because it's, it's a little bit larger, it's 150 meg. Okay, so just use their uploader, click upload. I'm just going to drag the file in here. Now you can see it's a mod file. Okay, next, 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 and upload. Okay, great, so that has started. We'll just wait for that to finish uploading. Okay, great. So as you can see, our video has now uploaded. So what we want to do is we want to encode this into HLS. Okay, so if we go back to USB Bubble and click refresh, and you can see our video has been uploaded to our storage bucket. Okay, so let's go ahead and encode this to HLS. So we want to go to our media convert encoder. Okay, and we can leave most of the settings. We can download our desktop app so let's download that so that we can convert um, this movie file to VIF format so we can do the Netflix thumbnails and because this is AVOD we're not doing um, proxy security that's more of an SVOD model and we could clip the video but we're not going to do that and we can leave the advertising URL because we're going to generate this ourselves and what we're going to do is we're going to output this to our delivery bucket 
okay and we're going to use a random ID but you could add you could change this to any folder output that you want okay so we're basically taking our file from our storage bucket encoding it with media convert and we're outputting it to our delivery bucket okay and then we're gonna use our CloudFront distribution as well okay so we can click Save now for encoding templates we've got a template here which is s3 bubble OTTH cost saving template now we suggest you use this um, if you don't use this then you can use the recommended for HLS uh, but this will save you money um, to do that you want to go under services media convert and templates and then in the actions menu you want to create savings template okay and then it will show here save and submit okay and uh, let's go there now yes so great as you can see this is progressing okay so while this is progressing and it's encoding our mod file into HLS adaptive bitrate now a quick thing about HLS adaptive bitrate we wouldn't want our movies on our uh, blog or CMS or our WordPress theme um, with mod files because they're going to be slow they're not very well supported across browser ideally you want to be using HLS um, adaptive bitrate is one of the best well it is the best streaming protocol as far as um, it, people's in people's um, videos will adapt to people's bit um, internet connection sorry that's the best way of explaining it I like when you see a Netflix video pixelate and then it will pick back up in quality that will be down to the network dropping a little bit and then the speed picking back up so I hope that makes sense okay so our job has now completed processing so let's go ahead and go into view the video I'm going to scroll down a little bit and click play okay so we've got a video playing with adaptive bitrate okay so let's go ahead and quickly just create um, our BIF thumbnail so we'll just drag our MOV now we're doing this on the desktop and then it will output the BIF file to the same location as you uploaded um, sorry as your MOV file is stored oh. there you go to video BIF thumbnails just drag in our newly created BIF thumbnail okay a second to complete Okay, so we've got a new BIF thumbnail generated for our next Netflix style thumbnails and now let's go ahead and just upload a poster okay so we've got our thumbnails our poster and our video is pretty much um, set up as far as for like video on demand but we want to be adding our advertising model to this okay so we're going to be using our own um, advert to do this so let's go ahead and go to advertisers advertising and we're going to be using a third party tool called AdSpeed and let's go into our ad speed account go to ads create a new ad okay and it's going to ask for fast compliant ad name we're going to be calling this um, just call it wild let's call it to the wild trailer and now we need to get our video URL here okay so we need to upload our advert to our delivery bucket let's go to storage and let's go to delivery okay now we're in our delivery bucket now ideally we suggest you create a folder and just call your folder ads in your delivery bucket you don't have to do it in your delivery bucket you can comp like um, create a completely new bucket for your advertising model but we've just created our ads folder and it's navigated into that folder now this means that we can just drag our advert into this folder and we'll be outputting our vast and vmap files here as well so let's create a CloudFront URL Okay, and copy. Let's go back to ad speed. Let's paste in the URL we're going to be using. And let's say we want it to skip after two seconds. And let's just go ahead and say we want the destination to be HTTP S um, example.com. Okay. Actually, let's send it to the S3 Bubble website. Okay, so we can save that now. Okay, and now we can go to view and edit this tag. Okay, so we've got everything set up. Now let's go to add tag and select. So we've got our add tag URL here now. Okay, great. So let's go back to our player that we created. Okay, so we've got our player here, and what we want to do is we want to add our um, advertising model to this. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go to the VMAP ad builder and what we're going to do is we want to add adverts throughout our video so we want to add one at the start which is a pre-roll a couple of mid-rolls and then a post-roll at the end okay so let's go ahead and say we want to add four 
Now let's paste in our ad speed vast URL. Okay, and type in pre roll. Let's have a, our mid rolls. Sorry. Okay, and then we're going to have our post roll. Okay, so for pre roll, the time offset wants to be start, and for post roll, the time offset wants to be end. But let's grab where we want our actual video adverts to show. So there's kind of a dark patch there which we can use where it fades. So that was at say 9 seconds and then let's add another one at say 15 seconds. Okay, so let's save and continue. Great, and then let's go to our, we want to output this to our delivery bucket. We want to output it to our ads folder and the output name is wild. So this is going to be our wild bmap file. Okay, submit. Okay, would you like to go there now? Yes. Okay, so let's go ahead and grab our CloudFront URL for this file. Okay, and click create. Okay, so what we can do now is we can simply take this URL and we can use it as our advertising URL. Okay, so we can add our advert. Okay, so now if we click play, you can see we've got our advert at the start. We can skip. Okay, and then we'll have our advert after nine seconds. Okay, so we've got our advert after nine seconds. And let that play through. And then we'll have another advert at 15 seconds. Okay, and if we click, it's going to take us to the S3 Bubble website. But we can skip add. Okay, and then we'll have our post roll at the end. So that's one way to actually add your adverts within. Um, the kind of AVOD model. So a couple of things just to go through is if you didn't want to use ad speed then you can go ahead and you can use our vast generator and you can actually generate your fast file directly through AWS without any third party server network. You can put in your own error tracking impression URLs you click through and then you can also add your tracking events and then here's where you can add your creative so this is where you'll add your URL that you've got from same way you pasted it into ad speed you'd actually paste that into the vast URL here okay so I can actually show you that quickly it's probably worth doing but we won't add any um, tracking events but we can just call this one s3 avod and we'll put in um, avod tutorial Okay, now we're not going to be doing any tracking, so video click through. This will be um, HTTPS, and then we'll do s3bubble.com, so that's our click through. Duration, um, we have to get the duration of the ad. It would have got it in here, I think, uh, yeah, so eight seconds. So we can simply put in uh, at eight seconds, and then we want it to skip after two seconds. You have to follow the the hours, minutes, seconds uh, model. Not going to be adding any tracking events, but you can add your custom tracking events, and we're just going to be adding our URL and progressive streaming. Okay, save and continue. And let's output this to our delivery bucket in our ads folder, and let's call this um, wild fast. Okay, and then we go here. Okay, so we've got our wild fast file here, and we can create our CloudFront URL for this create. So this URL we have now is exactly the same as having this um, URL here. Okay, So we can we can go ahead and we can add that to our video. Um, a couple of things that you might want useful tools is if you go under advertising, we've got a couple of um, tools here. So you can go to the advert tester. Now this is the vast um, compliant Google inspector. So you can test your ad here. Okay, So as you can see, it's testing it for us takes us to the right place and then we can skip the ad. Okay, you can also test your VMAP ad there as well and then you can use some of these URLs here. Now you can add your um, advertising URL for the, every video in your whole channel network um, and it will display and then if you want to change an advert for an individual video then if you put it on that individual video it, it will display that video instead of the global one. Okay, so I hope that makes sense. But that was just a quick overview of AVOD. Now we're going to continue this tutorial series and we're going to be doing server side um, ad insertion and lots of other great stuff. Any questions drop us an email at support.s3bubble.com. Thanks.